Hi, hello, welcome to my channel Learn More Maths. Uh, today we are going to solve a problem from exercise 7.1. Uh, this is a 12th problem. Uh, see here what he is asking. Find the value of y for which the distance between the points p2, minus 3 and q10, y is 10 units. So it is just like uh, same as the 11th problem. So there he is asking to find as uh, x value but here he is asking to find as a uh, y value. So here uh, the distance between the points p and q is 10 units he is saying. So using the distance formula we have to find the value of y. So ikkada manaku p and q ee rendu points madhye distance 10 units an ichchadu kaane indulo unna 20 y value find out cheyam antunnadu. So, here we use the distance formula si y value find out. Chayal. So, see here, what is the distance formula? Distance formula d is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. So, here the distance between p2, minus 3 and q10, y is 10 units. So, that is a pq equal to 10 units. So now we have to find a distance. You, now we have to use the distance formula. So let it is x1 comma x1 comma y1 and it is x2 comma y2. So square root of x2 minus x1 whole square is a square root of 10 minus 2 whole square. Square root of 10 minus 2 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square is a y minus of minus 3 whole square is equal to 10. So now just we have to simplify to find the y value. So see here what we get. 10 minus 2 is 8. 8 square is 64. 64 plus. So it is y minus of minus 3. It becomes y plus 3. So y plus 3 whole square. y plus 3 whole square. So is equal to 10. So now by squaring on both sides, we can cancel a square root on the left hand side. So by squaring on both sides. So by squaring on both sides, we get a C here on the left hand side. We have square root of 64 plus y plus 3 whole square. So we have to square is equal to on the right side side we have 10 so it becomes 10 square so here a square root 2 and a square gets cancelled so we have uh, 64 plus y plus 3 whole square on the left hand side 64 plus y plus 3 whole square is equal to 10 square 10 square is 10 into 10 we get 100 so now take plus 64 to the right side, it becomes minus 64. So here y plus 3 whole square is there on the left hand side. So now take 64 to the right side, it becomes 100 minus 64. So plus 64 becomes minus 64. So y plus 3 whole square is equal to 100 minus 64 is 36. So now by applying square root on both sides, we get on the left hand side only y plus 3 is equal to plus or minus square root of 36. Plus or minus square root 36, it is plus or minus 6. So square root 36 is 6. So once we have to take positive and once we have to take negative. So y plus 3 equal to 6. y plus 3 equal to 6 or y plus 3 equal to minus 6. So take plus 3 to the right side we get y equal to 6 minus 3 uh, that is a 3. 6 minus 3 is a 3 or y is equal to minus 6 minus 3 that is minus 9. So we have two values for y that is y equal to 3 or y equal to minus 9. So Therefore, we have two values for y, 3 and minus 9. So like this, we can find using distance formula. So this is 12th problem. So next we have to solve 13th one. So this is 13th problem in exercise 7.1. Uh, 
so see here what he is asking find the radius of the circle whose center is 3 comma 2 and passes through minus 5 comma 6 so he has given center of the circle and passing through the point he is asking to find as the radius of the circle so, so here center of the circle he has given 3 comma 2 and the circle is passing through the point of minus 5 comma 6 so he is asking to find as the radius so here radius is nothing but the distance between the center and the point passing so the distance between these two becomes the radius of the circle so ikkada manaku radius anedi ee rendu point la distance ganukunte saripothundi ade circle yokka radius avutundi so using distance formula we have to find so what is the distance formula distance formula d equal to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square so here uh, center of the circle is 3 comma 2 passing through point minus 5 comma 6 therefore radius of the circle equal to distance between the points 3 comma 2 and minus 5 comma 6 so r equal to so let it is x1 comma y1 and it is x2 comma y2 so square root of x2 minus x1 whole square is uh, minus 5 minus 3 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square is 6 minus 2 whole square so just we have to simplify it so r is equal to square root of so minus 5 minus 3 is minus 8 minus 8 whole square it is minus 8 whole square plus 6 minus 2 is 4 4 square is 16 so see here square root of minus 8 whole square is plus 64 and plus 16 square root of 64 plus 16 is square root 80 units square root 80 so it can be written as square root of 16 into 5 80 can be written as 16 into 5 square root 16 is 4 and root 5 4 root 5 units so this is the radius of the circle so the radius of the circle is 4 root 5 units. So this is the 13th problem in exercise 7.1. So that's all today's class. We will meet in the next class with another problem. Thanks for watching.